Let's attempt question 14 from this examination paper. There are four questions on algebraic manipulation. Let's start with the first one. Two is square f cubed, I think, to the power of three. See, the bracket suggests that every of the factors inside the bracket is a power of three. So that's going to be two to the power of three is squared to the power of three, f cubed to the power of three. So it's going to be eight, e to the power of six, f to the power of nine. I recommend whenever you see a question on indices and we have one or two below, write the rules so that you see them in front of you and write them you'll need to learn them by heart in the same order all the time so that you are familiar with them so my first rule is x to the power of a times x to the power of b is x to the power of a plus b i'll stop the movie and write the other four so these are the five rules Second rule, x to the power of a divided by x to the power of b, that's the same as x to the power of a over x to the power of b, sometimes it's presented in this way. And the fifth rule, very often you meet it at, as nth root of a, so this is going to be a to the power of 1 over n, because see how in this case, so see how in this case p is 1. So this is a particular case of that rule. See how in this example I use rule number 3. So whenever I have a problem on indices, I start by writing the five rules so that it's clear every time what rule I apply. Let's jump to question C because question C uses the same rules of indices we have here. So I, I need to show that the expression square root of a times a over a to the power of minus 2 can be written as a single power of a in this form a to a single power so i'm going to apply rule number five first so i have a to the power of one over two times a and this a is actually a to the power of one over a to the power of minus two and i'm going to reapply rule number one so it's a to the power of 1 over 2 plus 1 over a to the power of minus 2 a to the power of 3 over 2 1 over 2 plus 1 over a to the power of minus 2 and now I'm going to apply rule number 2 so this is a to the power of 2 my 3 over 2 minus minus 2 minus negative 2 so it's a to the power of 7 over 2 so your k will be 7 over 2 or 3.5 so see how it was clear here what rule I apply here I apply rule number five and then I apply rule number one and then I apply rule number two in order to solve this question let's move now to question B in question B the most common mistake students do is that they miss this as 3x minus 4y plus x plus 3y. In this case, it's that like I add these two numbers. I have two bags with 3x minus 4y in a bag and I need to add them all. And then I add an x and then I add a 3y. So my answer will be 4x minus y because minus 4y add y minus y whereas in this case being multiplication so it's the first bracket first bracket multiplied by the second bracket first bracket suggests you that multiplication we use the area model when we multiply two numbers Geo geometrically, I can think of the area of the rectangle where 
3x minus 4y is a length and x plus 3y, for example, is a height. So what we've done to multiply them easier, I split this one into 3x minus 4y and this one into x plus 3y. So 3x times x is 3x squared minus 4xy is this area. The area here is 9xy and the area here is minus 12y squared. Therefore, 3x minus 4y times x plus 3y is the area of the rectangle so I can express it by adding all those four areas together and will give me 3x squared plus 5xy minus 12y squared. So see how this plus here makes a big difference. Is the same difference between adding two numbers in this case and multiplying two numbers or expression in the, in the second case. Last question was the most difficult. It is a level nine question in an exam because it implies some factorizing. So you can't, the default mode with less students will come and do that and be left with the two here. Yeah, this is completely wrong because these two to the power of n and for the power of n are terms, are not factors, so you can't cancel them. So this is based on the observation that four to the power of n is two squared to the power of n minus one. So four is two squared. Yeah. Now using rule number three above, I can write it two to the power of two n minus one. See rule number three. And now I can apply rule number three again, but backwards to write it two to the power of n square minus one. And I can factorize the bottom part in two to the power of n minus one times two to the power of n plus one. Based on the fact, let me finish and then I'll explain this step. Now, now I can f cancel the whole to the power of n minus 1 because it's a factor here on the denominator. So I'm left to 1 over 2 to the power of n plus 1. How I cancel here using the fact that a squared minus b squared is a minus b times a plus b. And you can see that using the area model to open these brackets. This last question was very tough. You can now look at the next pages to see some similar questions. The answers will be there. Here I'm inviting you to look carefully at the difference between that expression and that expression. See how here you have more factors in the bracket comparing to this one. Here, see the difference between these two expressions being multiplied or added or subtracted. Answers are on the next page, but please try these questions first by yourself. And here we have a similar question using indices. Start by writing the five rules of indices, which you should know by heart. So start by writing them on a side and then at each step decide which rule you are going to use.